okay hello guys so as per our target today we are going to create a basic get api using node.js okay so our target is today to create a basic get api in node.js okay before that what is the prerequisites pre requisites is like you must have installed node.js installation okay this is only the <coughs> and two th second thing is you must have a good code editor so we are preferring here vs code but any other code is also fine to write node.js application okay so let's get a basic node.js application node.js api which will be in get method okay get api in node.js okay so for that what i need to do i need to create a folder here in my desktop i need to create a folder so let's create a folder so node learning okay this is my folder let's create this folder let's go to this folder by right click open vs code you can do if it will not show you as a open vs code then otherwise you can do you can come here and type vs code okay then open this one whenever you will open this one if previously some uh, uh, files are there it will show otherwise it will show the new one so i will just drag my node learn learning code folder which is right now blank you can see here there is no files available in this folder so what i will do first process is i have to do okay so so what to do the steps okay steps the first step will be what no first we have to do npm i need okay this is the first step we have to do we need to this is our visual studio code we need to open debug and here you can go and uh, terminal okay so you can go here view view and click on the terminal otherwise you can directly click control and back tick button control back tick button it will open your terminal okay so here what you have to do you have to initiate your node program you have to initiate your node uh, program application so what you have to do npm or uh, if it is already installed node.js so you can check whether node.js is installed or not using node hyphen v you can see it is installed and it, let's see whether an npm is installed or not you can see npm is also installed okay so we are good to go right now so let's first step is npm init okay whenever npm init you will give it will ask you some questions just forget it right now just hit enter hit enter everything hit enter entry point is index he is asking entry point is index.js but i will keep entry point at server.js okay then keep enter keep enter everything then just hit enter you can see one package.json file created what is this package.json file you need to understand right now later whenever we will go a little deep to the uh, node.js we can learn that part okay just ignore this part just follow this method only okay now it is done so as i told you already our main server is server.js or entry point is server.js so what i have to do 
I have to create a server dot js file first. Server dot js file. Okay. So server dot js file. What I have to do to create a API? I need to. This is my main entry point file. Okay. So let me write here to create a entry point file that is server dot js okay so this will this is this would be my main file okay let's come here and so what i have to do to create any api we are preferring for sir one uh, uh, one what is that called one uh, framework is there it's called express framework okay in node js we are using that to create apis okay all other uh, frameworks are also there uh, you can create apis using http you can create apis using happy also but we are preferring express for that okay to to use that express we have to give here like we have to require one module which is nothing but the npm module okay we have to require that so const and the express so i am declaring a variable and that variable i am assigning a require of express okay then what i have to do then it's saved let it saved so since i require here first i have to download this express in my serv server in my application so okay so i have to download here npm install hyphen hyphen save sor sorry express okay it will be installed like this so our next third point is require require express to your application okay then for install express using npm it is now installed then i will clear this okay you can think this is nothing but i will write here also comment this is nothing but your pre defined library library or you can say it is a framework written in javascript to which helps us to create a rest api okay so this is fine now what we have to do we have to <coughs> go for const app is equal to we have to create a root object of express like this this is nothing but root object of express okay so i am creating a object using this express function i am calling this express function and i am storing it's nothing but i am just whatever inside this function i am storing it in a variable that's it express const app app is equal to express so then i have to run my server first okay then how can i can run the server app dot listen so listen should be happen through a port for example i will listen in 3000 port okay then <coughs> sorry then it will be callback function then second parameter will be callback function app dot listen first parameter will be your first parameter will be your port number second parameter will be your callback function okay so callback function will be in callback function there should be two parameters one is error another one is success okay so we we just need to handle the error if error occurred while connecting or while listening the server if any error occurred 
then what will happen if error doesn't occur then what will happen okay so if error occurred then what i have to do i have to console dot log that error i need to console okay if error didn't occur then console dot log server is running port number 3000 okay <coughs> so now your server is running till now we have just required or imported our express module then we created the, the express uh, object and then we you we listen when uh, on a particular port okay if if you will run the server right now we, uh, to run the server you can come to the terminal and run node server dot js okay you can see there is no error occurs that means server is running now on the port number 3000 okay then what i have to do i have to create a one api one get method okay then get method i have to come here and app dot get okay get method will take two parameter first parameter will be your url okay second parameter will be your callback function so first parameter will be your uh, url for example test api is url then second parameter will be your request and response okay so what is your request and what is your response it is nothing but let me comment here request is a object where we can where all the content or client information will be stored okay so if we need to access particular clients anything then we can use it by the request object okay then then what is this response object response is a object through which we can send any response to client okay <coughs> let's see let's understand what is happening so whenever we will call the any api i need i need to check okay forget about this thing right now okay just think like this we are not using request right now okay when it will be used in next video i will use request okay so what i have to do whenever anybody will call or any client will call this test api i need to give him a response okay to give him a response we need to use this response object this is nothing but this second second parameter second parameter whatever whatever will be there i will use this if it will be response then i have to use response okay if it is a response i have to use response so it is nothing but just a parameter where we can use response dot send function okay response dot send function then here i will send that a you created a get api successfully okay done your one api done let's see <coughs> so i have to restart my server once again no server dot js so my server is running fine i need to check it whether my api is working fine or not then for that what i have to do i have to go to the browser okay then browser what i will do so this is running my in my local host so i have to give http colon slash slash local host then colon what is the port number in which port our 
server is listening or our application is listening 3000 port okay then what is my url test api is my url you can see here test api is my url okay then i will hit enter see you can see i am getting the response hey you created a get get api successfully okay this is nothing but your one get api now question is what is the use of this request okay let's console first console is nothing but to print what is anything to print okay let's console first what is exactly storing in this request okay i told that in this request object all the front end or client side information will be stored okay let's see whether it's storing or not okay whenever anybody will call you can see lots of data is storing in the client in the request dot request object okay you can see here it started here lots of things is storing you need to uh, understand everything here i am just showing you we need some basic things here later we will discuss okay on these things for example you can see here for example i need to only access whatever queries are coming from the client okay so then what i have to do request dot query okay if i will give request dot query then i i will get only the queries of that particular client okay i will send here query query can be sent query can be sent using question mark question mark and first parameter query query will be your parameter and its corresponding value okay query will be like this for example query 1 and its value is equal to value 1 and how to separate another query i have to write another query then i have to use m and then i have to use query 2 is equal to value 2 okay then i will hit enter see you can see here in request previously i have shown you only the request object in request object many things were there but right now i i am printing request dot query that means whatever query is coming from the front end i send from the front end this much query query 1 its corresponding value query 2 its corresponding value so just show me all those query only to see the query request dot query that means to access that query we can use request dot query to access all the query sent by the front end where it will be used i will show in the whenever we will go deeply we will develop develop one project there we can able to understand why this query is important and all other request or other objects are important or all other data are important okay so for this video this is enough so you created so what you learned here today so what you learned here so final learning is your first sorry installation was already done so importing or requiring okay npm module okay npm module is nothing but <coughs> yeah sorry importing module is nothing but <coughs> here predefined module okay then what you learn <coughs> how to run the server using express then how to get a get ap using server for how to catch or access 
query but requested by client okay this much only we learned from this video so <coughs> tomorrow we will learn or in next video we will learn how to create a post api post api is nothing but similar kind of api then we will go for we will move for saving data in the database and all other things we will learn 